Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. This is a symbol that many of us have seen. Maybe you have clothing, shoes that have this symbol on it. The Nike swish. Nike was the Greek goddess for victory and the swish is the swish of her wings as she flies to conquer evil and to fight for all that is good and right. The name Nike comes from the Greek word Nikeo, which means conquest or victory. And we find that word used several times in Paul's letters that he writes to the churches, particularly in the letter to the church at Rome. Today we're reflecting on chapter 12, verses 9 through 21, where Paul uses that Greek word Nikeo, talking about conquering and overcoming and fighting against evil. Paul tells the people of God that they are to hate evil and they are to overcome evil with good. There was one individual in Coquille, Oregon back in 1994 who decided that they wanted to overcome evil. They went through the library in Coquille, Oregon and went through every book that they thought that had a term in it that was maybe something that shouldn't be read by all ages and they used liquid paper to white out each and every one of those words or phrases that they thought was inappropriate. Well, I don't think exactly that's what Paul had in mind. It would be nice if we could go through the world with liquid paper or white out and erase everything that we didn't like or that we thought was evil or harmful. But instead, it takes each of us doing our part each and every day by standing up, standing out, and standing against that which we think is evil and harmful to those around us and to God's creation. We are called upon to do our part, to be good stewards. And fighting against evil, overcoming evil with good, is something that each of us could do in small ways and perhaps at times in big ways with the words that we use, with all that we give of ourselves and our time and our talents and resources, thinking about how we spend our money, making choices to spend our money that cares for God's people, that cares for God's creation, using our words in ways that show affirmation to the people around us. All of these are ways that we could do that. We are called to be stewards of God's love, grace, and God's hope. It's great when we could say to people that we're sending our thoughts and prayers, that we're hoping the best for them. But what Paul is encouraging us to do is put our hope into action, to take that hope and to make it a reality by the choices and decisions we make. So I hope that you will reflect upon how you can work in your personal life and your community and the faith community to stand up against that which is evil and harmful. How you can work for good. How you can do those actions that are life-giving. Those that build up the people around you and show care and compassion and generosity to others. That is the action that will overcome evil. Those are the actions that give us hope. Go forth this day being as the goddess Nike, fighting and conquering evil with your actions for love and good. Go in peace.